Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel and I'm a founder of Webion Systems. In this video, we will see how to use conditional statements in a keyword test of test complete. So for that, let me create one keyword test and give a name as conditional statement test. Okay. Now, in one of my previous videos, I will explain how to record and replay keyword test. But in actual application, you may want to use condition to perform action. For instance, you have an application where the UI for, let's say, user role student is different compared to the UI of a user role teacher. Okay. And based on the user role, your application shows the user interface and you want to perform action based on that, right? So for that, you want to use if else condition. So let's see all the condition that is if else for loop and while loop and how to use them in the keyword test, okay? So for that, first you have to click on these statements. And now here we have this if and then condition. Just drag and drop. And here select the value. So here I'm gonna use as a boolean. Okay, that's a constant and boolean and true. And if the value true equals to true, okay, boolean and true, then I want to log a message okay for that login and log a message the message is in a if block as value is true next and finish now if there is a if condition of course there is a else block as well so let's use else block as well click on a statement and find the else block here and use it here. and I want to log a message condition is false so in a else block okay next and finish now if I run this if I run this as the condition is true it will be inside it if block in a if block as the value is true let's change the condition to false and if i change this condition to false now the test execution will jump to the else block see the condition is false so in a else block okay so this is how you can use if and else condition conditional statement in a keyword test of test object. Now let's see how to use a for loop. Now while using for loop you have to create one variable. So generally when you are using for loop in a scripting we create variable i or something and that loops through the for loop. So for that let me create one local variable and give a name i and type I use change from string to integer and default value 0 as it is. Now let's use the for loop and here loop variable I just created and that is the variable i use selected variable and starting value I will change it to 0 okay and end value I will change it to let's say 5 I want to print a value or five times and click on OK. Now I want to print so I'm gonna use log message operation and here I'm going to select mode as a code expression and I'm providing the value as inside a for loop Plus the variable that is keyword test dot conditional statement 
dot variables and dot name of the variable that is i and click ok and finish and now if i run this right click run selected operation this will print the value of i for 5 times 0 1 2 3 4 5 that is 6 times i mean from starting from 0 to 5 okay inside a for loop 0 inside a for loop 1 2 3 4 5 okay if i change this end value to 3 then it will print for 4 times that is 0 1 2 and 3 let me print again run the selected operation and it will run that is 0, 1, 2, 3, okay, inside a for loop. So this is how you can use the for loop in a keyword test. Now let's see the while loop. Again, click on a statement and look for a while loop, drag and drop. Now, while loop keeps on going until the provided condition becomes false. So let's first provide a condition which is true Let's say I'm going to choose a variable, variable i is less than, let's say if value is 5, integer 5. If the i is less than 5, keep printing or perform the action inside the while loop. I want to log a message. Log a message. Next. And here, from here, I'm going to select wood expression inside a while loop. And plus, the same keyword test dot conditional statements dot variables and the name of the variable that is high. Okay, now this operation will keep on printing the value of i that is 0, that is the default value because this condition is true, this is always true. So let's write a statement which will make this condition false after a while. So for that, I am going to use run code statement and here. I'm going to say keyword test conditional statement dot variables dot i and plus plus so every time the control goes inside the while loop and this i will keep on incrementing and this condition will become false as soon as i is equal to 5 let's run this while loop here we go inside a while loop 0 1 2 3 4 okay it's printing from starting from 0 to 4 as the condition become false as soon as i is equal to 5 okay so this is how you can use the conditional statements inside the keyword test of test complete so that's it in this video if you have any doubt please feel free to write a comment inside the comment section of this video Thank you very much and see you next time. So if you need a software testing consultation or software testing training, then visit to our company's URL that is www.webyonsystems.com and on the home page, click on this contact us button, which will take you to the contact us section of the website. Now here, either you can write us at contact at webyonsystems.com or you can call us at this number if you are from India or at this number if you are from United States or the Canada. Thank you.